Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is March the 21st, 2022, and what I want to talk to you about today is what happens if your soil pH is too high on your pansy plants. So I put these in uh, the Beyond Peat Natural and Organics Potting Mix. And the soil pH on these is way too high. It's too high even coming out of the bag of the Beyond Peat stuff. It's up in the sevens. It is way too high for pansies. And I'll put on the best soil pH for your pansies. Now you can see here, this plant here is really yellow. It's wilted. And what's actually happening is it's not allowing, the soil pH is not allowing the plants to be able to take up the iron and the boron because it's so high. So we're gonna have to get this down. Um, uh, this was like, we're still testing this soil out. I can honestly say that the soil pH is very high coming straight out of the bag. Um, I will be switching back to miracle Grow for my pansy plants. And I have quite a bit of pansy plants that are turning yellow. Most of them are, and there's like 104 pansy plants. Put some sulfur down. This is 90% sulfur, and we're going to try and lower the soil pH in this. Uh, we're putting it around the ones that are really yellow, like back here, and we're working it into the soil some. Now, this is a slow release, and it will slowly release as the plants are being watered. And we're going to wait and see if this starts making them turn green again. So, it's pretty disappointing that this happened. Soil pH too high can cause all kinds of root rots. It can allow your plants to be attacked by pests, different types of plant diseases. So it's really not a good thing to have the soil pH as high as what it is coming out of these bags. And I was unaware of that at the time when uh, they were planted. I normally always plant them in miracle Grow, and we tried this soil here and I can say that I will be going back to the miracle Grow for my pansies. There's other stuff that's planted in it. Some stuff grows, some stuff kind of struggles to grow, and the stuff that's struggling, I'm 100% positive, is going to be because the soil pH is just way too high for it. So we're going to be watching these, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to add to this video here. So uh, we're going to be getting this watered in here, and then we're going to be watching these to see how they respond to this, and then um, we're going to be continuing to monitor the soil pH on these. Now it might take it a few days to a few weeks to uh, start getting the pH down, but this is our uh, soil pH tester here. And you want to make sure that your soil is moist before you use this. And we test our soil pH here. I, I honestly did not think that the soil pH was going to be that high. I mean, we do use the sulfur on our potatoes, but that's growing in the ground. And I didn't even think to check the bags to see what the pH was. I mean, I... I've used the Miracle Grow for years and I never had a problem with that, so it was something that I just didn't even think of. Okay, so today is uh, March 29th and you can see the pansies are starting to green up here. They're turning more green for me, which I'm really happy about that. Here looked really bad when I did the first part of the video, but they are starting to really turn green again. There's a few um, still yellowing in the leaves, but uh, it's nothing like what it was. So I uh, did switch up some of the plant foods. I started feeding them with a plant food that had uh, more iron and boron in it to uh, help the plants uptake it up in. And we're working on getting that soil pH down so that they can take up the nutrients that they need easier. And I'm really happy that I didn't lose the pansy plants. I was really concerned. But um, there are some plant foods that can lower your soil pH. 
Uh, I know Epsoma has an alunium sulfate, which will lower your soil pH. And I know that uh, the miracle Grow for acid-loving plants will also help to lower soil pH if your soil pH is too high. Now, a lot of these work over time, and you want to make sure that you don't overfeed your plants while trying to get the soil pH down. Like, you don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff on to lower the soil pH, and you can risk, you know, hurting your plants and burning the root systems on them. So it does take some time to get the soil pH down on your plants. It's not like an overnight quick thing where it's just going to, you know, take it down really quick. We want to do this over a slow period of time. But I just wanted to show you this, that it is working. And they are looking a whole lot better. So they are going to get fed again today. Um, I can see there's still like a little bit of yellowing. I can see it like right down here where it's not quite as dark green as what it should be. Um, the greenhouses are heated. It was 18 degrees last night. So uh, it's pretty cold. And when you're doing something like this, especially like in the greenhouse, your soil can still get cold even though the greenhouses are heated. So you want to take that into consideration that you don't overwater your plants. And these are going to be getting fed again. But I'm really being cautious because I don't want to create another problem. You can see this one here is going to bloom. I did also feed him with uh, some sea magic. That helped him out too. Gave him some nutrients to help him really get going and to recover from what happened to them. But you can see there's still a little bit of yellowing here, but it's nothing like what it was. Okay, so today is April the 20th, 2022, and you can see here the pansies are looking much better. They're really starting to uh, green up for us. They're getting rid of that lime green with the coloring in the leaves now this one here still has a little bit to it we are still working on getting the soil ph down you can see all the beautiful blooms here but they look a lot different than what they did before and uh like i said we're still working on getting the soil ph down See this beautiful pansy here but uh, the foliage looks a whole lot better than what it did like i said we still have a few here where they're still a little bit lighter but we are still working on the soil ph so if your soil ph is too high for your pansies they're going to have the yellowing in the leaves they're going to have like some white colors in them this one here back here we're still working with, but uh, like I said, they look a whole lot better than what they did. And we're going to continue to monitor the soil pH and work on actually getting it down to where these need to be. So soil pH definitely has a negative effect if it's too high or too low for your plants. So checking the soil pH is something that's really important. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you as I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.